Hey everyone, Melissa here and I'm thrilled to be back with you today for Cut File Tuesday. I love using cut files and I was just really really happy to be able to play with them with this gorgeous October 2020 hip kit. So what I have there is an exclusive cut file and I think it was designed by Kim Watson and my assignment today is to um, use a clever title and a cut file. So um, I thought this is a great challenge, I'm definitely going to have fun with this one. And when I started this I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, I'm aware that I, I'm trying to be clever, or I need to be clever, which to me means um, I guess thinking outside of the box and not relying on just the, the grateful, grateful, grateful to be my title. So as you um, watch this come together, you'll see how I integrate the cut file title with some other elements from the beautiful kits to be able to make a clever title. So here I'm just showing you how I back my cut files. I glue um, the part that I'm backing and then I stick it onto the paper or in this instance the cardstock, wait for it to dry and then I trim around it with these Tim Holtz um, I feel like precision cutting scissors but they're made to be able to cut through adhesive. So what happens is they don't get gummed up from adhesive which is really awesome if you're a little bit impatient like me and you just want to get on to trimming out your cut file. So there are other ways that you can back a cut file. You can get the silhouette or Cricut to cut out the parts that you need. You can can trace the cut file and um, with pencil and then cut them out and glue them down but I'm a bit lazy and I don't have that much time to spare so this is the easiest way for me to do it. Now there was no um, green cardstock or pattern paper with enough green in it for me to back these leaves. I did think about leaving them but then I thought no why don't I just make my own um, paper. So I just got my watercolours and I was trying to match the die cuts in that pack from Pebbles just above there, but I ended up not going as dark. And I love how this colour turns out anyway, it's perfectly fine. So looks like a hot mess, I know. Um, I'm not worried about it because I'm only using it in small parts anyway. Just getting my heat gun and drying it off. And yeah, it, it doesn't look great. But like I say, when you see it, and you'll see me back some of the leaves soon, you won't be able to see how streaky or messy my watercoloring was and part of that reason is my kids take all of my brushes and I'm just left with in this instance one little brush so um, I made this when they were asleep so rather than go into my daughter's room and try and find my brush I just worked with what I had. So I'm using craft cardstock, um, I'm loving craft at the moment, it was tempting to use white um, cardstock for this layout. It was also tempting to cut my cut file in white cardstock because that's something I would normally do but I decided to push myself and use that dark navy blue and I think it's quite striking on the craft background. But in order to do a little bit of mixed media with the colour kit I'm just wanting to add some gesso and I'm just using my finger to get it more imperfect and to avoid brush strokes and bearing in mind I've only got that little brush although I have got this other tool that I probably could have used but anyway I like the look of this and I like how it's imperfect so drying it off a little bit um, I will set it aside to dry you'll see me do that soon so while that's drying I've come back to this piece of paper I, don't, I went way way overboard with um, how much I actually needed to watercolour but that's fine so here I'm doing the same thing that I did with the cardstock. I'm just cutting small pieces of that paper that I've made, gluing them down, and then here, you know, obviously not waiting at all, <laughs> going ahead and trimming out um, the excess. So as you can see, you can't tell that um, my paper is painted in a streaky kind of way. It looks fine. I think it looks more realistic for a leaf anyway to not be perfectly one colour. So I'm being really careful because there's a flower and some leaves on the top left that are a bit flimsy. Um, so I've got to be careful because I don't want that bit to fall off. If it did fall off, I could always um, just glue it anyway, um, glue it back on. So here I've got my photo of my husband and I. Um, and I'm wanting to do a bit of mixed media. Now I'm really sorry, I thought I had recorded this and I hadn't pressed record, so forgive me. All I did was the packaging technique with two of those magicals. Um, the ones I used, let me just have a look, were the marigold yellow orange and the red hot poker orange. I did the 
packaging technique with them and then I did some splatters with um, autumn maple crimson and I kept that one quite concentrated to get darker splatters. So here I'm now adding some dimensional adhesive behind the entire cut file. I could have used craft foam but because I have used my craft knife to trim out the inner parts of the grateful word it was just easier to use these ones. And I know that these ones will hold really well because they're made exactly for that purpose. So a little bit about the photo, it's my husband and I at, um, my brother-in-law had terminal cancer and he lost his battle last October. He nearly got to a year from diagnosis, it was devastating for our family but he made the most of his final year and he did a lot for our country here in New Zealand with um, lobbying the government to get a cancer agency. That's a whole other story though. Um, that this photo was taken at his last public event called his final farewell and it was pretty sad but it was also a celebration of his life while he was still able to celebrate. Um, it was a really special night and we had this photo and so I definitely wanted to scrap it. I'm making an album about him and his last year of life. It's um it's from the perspective of my family, like my immediate family. So there's a lot more stories about I guess our family and as well as him, but mostly from our family, if that makes sense. So here I'm just taking all these off now, I'll speed it up because you know you don't want to watch it. It's like watching paint dry, watching me pull off all those backing pieces. And I'm just wanting to make sure I've got enough room for my photo. And I didn't want to cover up that beautiful little orange flower, but in the end I had to. Um, and I didn't want to make this cut file too small either. So I put a pop dot behind and liquid adhesive and I didn't take the backing of these top pieces of the cut file. I didn't take the little adhesive backing off the foam dots until I was certain of where I wanted to put them. So that kind of took the pressure off me of having to stick everything down at once. So I'm sorry about the glare on my photo. It's just because I'm filming this at night. Now for the clever title. So grateful, grateful, grateful. I decided to cover up some of the grateful and only have one of the grateful really showing. I mean, you can still see that it says grateful. So I got some of the elements. I've got one of the simple stories um, foam words there that says thankful and another one that says blessed. And I'm just going to put these in a position where I want to make sure the bottom grateful is seen. So the title at the moment is Thankful Blessed and then I've got an ampersand from uh, the letter stickers, the black ones. So the title is Thankful, Blessed and Grateful and then I got the words for you from these pebbles, puffy, gold um, word phrase stickers. So yeah, my title is Thankful, Blessed and Grateful for You. So I hope that's um, a clever title. I think it's clever. I think I'm clever. <laughs> um, I don't always think I'm clever, but in this instance, I think I'm clever because I have mixed several of the elements to make my title and incorporated the cut file. So just um, messing around here with that ampersand. I did have to add some liquid adhesive to make sure it stuck. And I just used a bit of... Um, just some off-cut paper to remove the liquid adhesive from around that ampersand because it's quite small. So now on to my favourite part which is embellishing. I just showed you my little tip there so when you take these things out of their packets if they are clear on clear backing you can just staple them down to the packaging so that you know where they came from. So I'm just adding a heart, I'm adding a couple of phrases from that Pebbles um, phrase black and white set. These um, are very very hoardable like, to force myself to use them. I know that sounds ridiculous but most of you that craft all the time you know what I mean. Um, you know it's a situation where oh should I use this oh but if I use it then it's it's used and I won't have it again but in the end we've got to get these products onto our pages and into our albums. So I just wanted to add a little bit more um, whimsy and I really wanted to use these leaves and I love the gold that they add so I'm just wanting to make sure I'm placing them around the layer not um I want them to complement the cut file not overtake it so that one I'm putting there it, it needed some liquid adhesive it was just not going to stick and that's the only one that I have coming out of and onto that sort of flower cluster so I just use a paper towel to dry off the excess liquid adhesive. The Novo one dries clear anyway, but I just didn't want any of it to be seen. And then I'm adding some of these beautiful gold puffy hearts, and I think they look really sweet. 
I forgot to say that I've also added one of those Amy Tangerine late afternoon paperclip um, elements to the top of my photo too. I think it's perfect to put a heart on a photo or a layout of my husband and I. So I don't scrap him and I that often. <laughs> We're not in that many photos together. Probably should make an effort to do that more, but I'm really pleased to have this memory scrapped. Then just adding my journaling. And the layout didn't need anything else. It didn't need any splatters or anything really. I just think it looks um, pretty heavily embellished with the um, backing of the cut file and also with my title. So make sure you head on over to the website. I'll have all the details below and definitely become a subscriber for discounts and to ensure you don't miss out on these beautiful kits. Thanks for watching.